Have you ever wondered about the relationship between Kushan Khotan and the Gujar nation? Let's dive headfirst into the captivating world of these ancient civilizations. The Kushan Empire, a syncretic civilization, emerged in the early 1st century. They held sway over parts of Central Asia and Northern India, leaving behind a rich tapestry of art and culture that echoes through time. Shifting our gaze eastwards, we encounter the Kingdom of Khotan. Nestled on the ancient Silk Road, Khotan was a melting pot of diverse cultures, languages and religions, with Buddhism playing a significant role. Then we have the Gujar Nation, a vibrant community with roots tracing back to the nomadic tribes of the Indian subcontinent. Despite the passage of millennia, the Gujar people continue to thrive, their traditions and customs living testaments to their enduring heritage. What if I told you that these three seemingly unrelated ancient civilizations might have more in common than you think? The Kushan Empire, a syncretic empire, was a hub of cultural, economic and political activity. This thriving empire unfurled around the 1st century AD, stretching its territories from what is now known as Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Northern India. The Kushans were not just conquerors but they were also patrons of the arts and culture. Their rule saw a flourishing of Gandharan art, a unique blend of Greco-Roman and Buddhist styles. This period also witnessed the creation of the earliest known images of the Buddha. In addition to their cultural contributions, the Kushans played a significant role in establishing trade routes. They bridged the gap between the East and the West, forming a crucial part of the Silk Road that connected China to the Mediterranean. This network of trade routes allowed for the exchange of goods, ideas and cultural practices, making the Kushan Empire a melting pot of diverse cultures. However, like all great empires the Kushan Empire also faced a gradual decline. By the 3rd century AD their power began to wane due to internal conflicts, economic instability, and invasions from other empires. Intriguingly, the legacy of the Kushans extends beyond their historical and cultural contributions. DNA evidence presents a fascinating link between the Kushans, the Gujars, and the Khotans. The Gujars, an ethnic group in South Asia, and the Khotans, who resided in an ancient kingdom in what is now Western China, share certain genetic markers with the Kushans. This genetic link provides compelling evidence of the migration and intermingling of these groups during the Kushan period. This DNA evidence combined with historical records and archaeological findings paints a comprehensive picture of the Kushan Empire's influence and interactions with other civilizations. It is a testament to the Kushan Empire's far-reaching impact that their genetic legacy can still be traced in present-day populations. The Kushans left an indelible mark on history, but they also left behind genetic markers that connect them to the Gujars and Khotans. The Kingdom of Khotan, an oasis city-state on the Silk Road, was a melting pot of cultures and traditions. This flourishing kingdom was established around the 3rd century and nestled in what is now the Xinjiang region of western China. It served as a strategic hub for the Silk Road, bridging the east and west through trade, culture and ideas. Khotan was a vibrant tapestry of influences with its roots in various civilizations. The kingdom was predominantly Buddhist and was known for its rich contributions to Buddhist art and literature, but its geographical location also brought it into contact with the Greek, Persian, Indian and Chinese cultures, each leaving its own indelible mark. The influence of these cultures was evident in the architecture, language and even the way of life in Khotan. However, the Kingdom of Khotan was not just a passive recipient of these cultural influences, it actively contributed to the Silk Road's cultural exchange, exporting its own distinct blend of art, religion and philosophy. For centuries, Khotan thrived as a prosperous city-state, a beacon of culture and commerce on the Silk Road. But all great empires eventually meet their end. By the 10th century Khotan came under the Chinese Tang Dynasty's influence, gradually becoming a part of the Chinese Empire. Despite this absorption, Khotan retained its distinct cultural identity, a testament to its rich historical legacy. Now let's delve into the fascinating world of genetics. DNA evidence suggests a connection between the people of Khotan, the Kushans, and the Gujars. Genetic markers like the R1A1 haplogroup common among these groups suggest a shared ancestry. These genetic ties offer a glimpse into the complex web of human migration and intermingling that shaped these ancient civilizations. Khotan's story is not just about a kingdom on the Silk Road. It's about the convergence of cultures, the ties that bind us through time and the enduring legacy of our shared history. 
The Khotans like the Kushans left behind genetic markers that tie them to the Gujars and Kushans. The Gujars, a traditionally nomadic tribe in South Asia, have a complex and intriguing past. Known for their pastoral lifestyle, the Gujars have roots that delve deep into the annals of history. Their story is one of migration and adaptation, moving across the vast landscapes of the subcontinent and forming unique traditions and customs along the way. The Gujars' connection to the Kushan Empire and Kingdom of Khotan is not merely cultural or geographical, but also genetic. Recent DNA studies reveal shared genetic markers between these ancient civilizations and the Gujars, suggesting a shared ancestry. This fascinating link provides a glimpse into the complex web of human migration and cultural exchange in ancient times. In a world where identities are often confined within borders, the story of the Gujars serves as a reminder of our shared past. The Gujars, though culturally distinct, share genetic ties with the Kushans and Khotans, weaving a fascinating tapestry of interconnected histories. So, what does this all mean for our understanding of these three civilizations? The histories of the Kushan Empire, the Kingdom of Khotan, and the Gujar Nation are not just mere tales of the past, but intricate narratives interwoven with cultural exchanges and genetic ties. We've delved into the Kushan Empire's grandeur, an entity that left a significant imprint on the regions it ruled. The Kingdom of Khotan, a flourishing oasis on the Silk Road, was a melting pot of various cultures, influencing and being influenced by its neighbors. The Gujar nation with its resilient spirit has left its fingerprints on the Indian subcontinent's cultural and genetic landscape. DNA evidence has further validated these historical connections, underscoring the shared human experience. Such studies play a pivotal role in unraveling the complexities of our shared past, highlighting our interconnected histories. History, as we see, is not just a series of isolated events but a complex web of interconnected narratives, and each discovery brings us one step closer to understanding our collective past.